Welcome to the Verb Circus. My name is Kyle Miller, and this is our fifth and final show with two fantastic guests. Yeah, we've been here all week with Mamen and Claudia. They've done a great job. And I want to remind you, we have some excellent prizes here. At the end of the week, our weekly winner, as always, will take home a one-year subscription to our monthly magazine, The Vaughn Review, and also our all-time points leader will win a trip to The Vaughn Town. And we also have a second prize, which is a membership in the Bauger Inglés 4.0 course. So lots of great prizes here, as always, on the Verb Circus. Let's get things started with our last show of the week. Mamen, you're back. How are you doing? Fine, thank you. Good, good. It's good to see you again. Yeah. But it's kind of a bittersweet moment, you know? Oh, yes. It's, it's our last show together. Oh, yes, it's a pity. Yeah. I, I have fun here. Yeah, 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 you've done a great job as well, yeah. Mamen. Okay, and uh, who's with you again today, Mamen? It's uh, Claudia. It's Claudia, once again. How are you doing, Claudia? Very bad. <laughs> no, you're doing fine. Come on. Yeah, I am having fun. You're having fun. And you're, yeah. you're, you're scoring. I'm learning. Good. You're learning, and your score's not bad. Don't mm. worry, you're doing fine. <laughs> All right, so uh, Claudia, how do we how do we start the show? How 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 are we going to start the show? First, we have to choose the. Uh, we have to choose the verb. The verb. <laughs> okay, so so tell me to choose the verb. Uh, choose the verb. Choose the verb. <laughs> All right, okay. This is going up to the the magical verb creator in the sky, and we're going to choose the verb. Okay, here it comes. Our verb of the day, ladies and gentlemen. I can feel it coming in. There it is. Look at that. Huh? To hurt. Oh, to hurt, the verb to hurt. Yeah. Can you conjugate this for us, Claudia? Uh, I think today I hurt. Hurt? H hurt. Yeah. Yesterday I hurt it. I, I hurt. Ah, I hurt. Yeah. And lately I have hurt. I have hurt, exactly. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Every day I hurt. Yesterday I hurt. <clears throat> lately I have hurt. So it's the same. Easy, right? Easy. Mm -hmm. Piece of cake. <laughs> right, my favorite expression. Piece of cake. Kind of comido. Piece of cake. No problem. All right, so let's take a look at our uses of the verb. Actually, first, before the uses, we have to look at our scores, don't we? Let's take a look at our total scores and see where we stand. The puntuación, our scores, we have Mamen here with a total of 440. Wow, great score. And Claudia with 190. It's a good score. Yeah, it's a good score as well. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, let's move on now to our uses of today's verb. We have to cause bodily injury to, for example. Okay, our first use, to cause injury. Now, does your arm hurt? No. It, is what it, does your arm hurt? No, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt. Okay. <laughs> ask me, Claudia, ask me if my back hurts. Does your back hurt? Yeah, it does. Yeah. My, my back hurts. I've been standing here all day and it's giving me a bit of a day. My back hurts. It hurts. <laughs> Ask me if my shoulder hurts. Does your shoulder hurt? Yeah, yeah, it hurts. My shoulder hurts. My shoulder hurts. My back hurts. Ask me if my knees hurt. Does your knees... Now my knees, plural. Do, yeah. Do your knees uh, hurt? Do your knees hurt? Yeah. My knees hurt. Poor. I'm, get, I'm getting old. Poor thing. <laughs> My back hurts, singular. My back hurts. My shoulder hurts. My right shoulder. Not my left shoulder, but my right shoulder hurts. And my knees hurt, right? Okay. Now, our next use, remember, it can express either feeling or causing pain. So, my back hurts. But we can also say, I hurt you. Or, it hurt me. Something hurt me. Right? Mm -hmm. So, before the show, did you notice I, I caught my finger in the door? Did you see that? Really? No, I didn't. Yeah, I, upstairs. I caught my finger in the door. Ask me if that hurt me. Did it hurt, hurt you? Did it hurt you? Yes, it did. It hurt me. Yeah. I pinched my finger in the door and it hurt me. The door hurt me. It's very painful. Yeah, so I'm experiencing a, a lot of pain today. <laughs> it's a difficult day for me in terms of pain. It's true. Now, I want to talk about, finally, sore versus hurt. Sore versus hurt. So we have sore as an adjective. So my back hurts. My back hurts, so my back is sore. I have a sore back. Do you have a sore back today? Yeah. Can you give me a full, yes, I have yeah, a. Yeah, I have a, a big uh, back sore. Well, well I, I have a sore back. I, I have a, a sore a back. A sore back, yeah, it's an adjective, so you could say I have a very sore back. Okay, that's right. 
Do you have a very sore back? Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Are you sore yourself? Yes. The only thing it, it, it didn't <laughs> hurt is my arm. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> nah. Nah. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I'm I can say my arm. My, oh, my, another thing that's sore is that, how do you say that? How do you say el codo? El elbow. Elbow. So ask me if my elbow is sore. Does your elbow sore? Is your elbow is sore? Is your elbow sore? Right. So at home, remember, yeah. Kyle, is your elbow sore? Yes. Yeah. My elbow is sore because it hurts. Because I hurt it this morning. I bumped my elbow against the wall. I hurt my elbow, and now my elbow is sore. Really? So remember, sore is an adjective, and hurt is the verb. Okay? Okay. No problem, ladies. Mm. No problem. <laughs> Are you ready for this Let's challenge? See. Yes. All right, let's put them to the test, ladies and gentlemen, in the translation <clears throat> challenge. All right, it is time now for the translation challenge. Yes, you know how this works, ladies and gentlemen. You will see on your screen a sentence in Spanish and three options. Tres opciones en inglés y tienes que elegir la traducción correcta para ganar cinco puntos, five points for each correct answer. All right. Let's hear example number one. Me hice daño en el tobillo jugando al fútbol. Okay. Option A. My ankle hurts playing football. Option B. I hurt my ankle playing football. <clears throat> and option C. I hurts my ankle playing football. You have five seconds. Okay, Mamen, with confidence. I think you look, you, you look like you've got the right answer. Yes. You think so? <laughs> yes. I'm okay, she forever. says it's B. And Claudia? B. B? Do you think you have the right answer, Claudia? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> They're right. Five points for each of them. Good job. Hopefully, you've got the right answer at home as well. Mamen, can you read it for us? I hurt my ankle. I hurt my ankle playing football. Good. I hurt my ankle playing football. Very good. Have you, have you ever hurt your ankle playing football? Yeah. Yeah? Last week. Oh, ah, really? <laughs> yeah. You can do that. You can hurt your ankle yourself playing football, right? Okay, let's hear number two. ¿Se hicieron daño los niños? Option A. Did the children hurt each other? B. Did the children do damage to each other? And C. Did the children hurt to each other? Five seconds. Scrambling for it again, Claudia. All right, what's what's the answer, Claudia? Uh, C. Claudia says it's C. Are you sure about that? No. Hmm. What do you think, Mamen? Uh, I say A, but Mamen says. Are you I was sure? doubting in the last minute, but. Well, the correct answer is, in fact, at home, ladies and gentlemen, A. Correct yeah. answer is A. Mamen's got it again. Can you read that one, Claudia? Yeah. Did the children hurt each other? Yeah. Did the children hurt? So not hurt too. No. Did the children hurt each other? Okay. Yeah. What am I doing? I'm I'm looking at you and you're looking at me. So we are looking at at each other. At each other. Each other. Yeah. Did the children hurt each other? Yeah. Okay. Let's hear number three. La competencia ha dañado nuestras ventas. Mm. It can happen, right? Yeah. A. The competence has hurt our sales. B, the competition has hurt to our sales. And C, the competition has hurt our sales. Ding. <laughs> okay. Maman, you got your answer up there. Well done. What do you yeah. think? I think it's C. Mama says it's C, and Claudia says, oh no. <laughs> Usually betting against Mamen is not a good idea. No. In fact, Mamen once again has the right answer. Yeah. She's on a roll. Yes. You know that expression no. to be on a roll? En racha. And on She's fire. On fire. fire. <laughs> She's on fire, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing can stop her. That's right. The competition has hurt our sales, right? Not the competence, no. no. The competition which is a collection of competitors, the competition. Can you read that for us? The competition has hurt our sales. Our sales. Okay, good job. 
Let's hear example number four. Algo como eso realmente podría dañar nuestra reputación. Mm. Okay. A. A thing like this can really hurt our reputation. B. Something like that could really hurt our reputation. And C. Something that way can really hurt our reputation. Okay, Claudia, do you think you have the right answer this time? Of course not. But... <laughs> yeah, you gotta be confident in yourself. Okay. And Mamen. I think I'm wrong today. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> Algo como, como eso. Can you, can you say that out loud, Mamen? Something like that could really hurt our reputation. Our reputation. And that is the right answer. Good wow. job for both of you. With B, something like that could really hurt our reputation. Something like that. Good job. Good job. Well done. Let's take a look at our scores here at the end of the first round. And there we have Mamen with a total of 460 points. Wow. <laughs> 200 points for Claudia. Good score as well. Good job. Good job. You're doing well, Claudia. Yeah. Yeah. You're both doing very well. But it's time to move on now to our other uses. A little something extra about today's verb. All right, here in our other uses segment, we see a little hard work. This is true, a bit of advice. A little hard work never hurt anyone. Do you agree with this, Claudia? Yeah. A little hard work never hurt anyone. I want to tell you something about learning English. It's like learning anything. It takes effort, a little hard work. <laughs> the harder you work, the more you'll learn. Do you agree, Mamen? Yes. Practi uh, practice make, make perfect. Practice make makes, makes perfect. perfect. Exactly. <laughs> a little hard work never hurt anyone. The harder you work, the more you're going to learn. Practice makes perfect. So, any other tips on the learning process? Uh, <laughs> Mom and first. Any Listen as much to English as possible. Yeah. And reading whatever reading. you uh, newspaper or yeah. on the on the internet. Look look up. Uh, an English page or yeah, exactly. novels. Or Reading and listening, essential, yeah. yeah. And Claudia, any tips that you can give the viewers at home for improving their English? I'm not the proper person to give tips in English, as you see, but yeah, I think listening to, to the Baogan or oh, Friend well, English, watching you. Friend English. Yeah, listen, listen and speak and practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. The harder you work, the more you're going to learn. All right. And I think it's time, we're just about ready to move on. So let's move on now to round two of the translation challenge. All right, here we are in our translation challenge. Mm. The second round, it's the same as the first. Es igual, pero ahora en vez de cinco puntos, cada respuesta vale diez. Ten points. Okay, so your scores are already high, but they can go even higher now with each question worth 10 points. Let's hear question number one. El volumen está tan alto que puede dañar tus oídos. Yeah, it's true. Ow. Está tan alto. Oh, my ear. A, the volume is too high that it can hurt your ears. B, the volume is so high that it hurts to your ears. And C, the volume's so high, it can hurt your ears. Five seconds. <laughs> ah, yes. Mamen, she seems confident again. <laughs> For 10 points, what is it, Mamen? I think, I think it's C. C, can, yeah. you agree? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mamen, can you say it out loud for us? The volume is so high that it can hurt your ears. Your ears, correct, for 10 <laughs> points each. Good job, the volume's so high, the contraction, the volume is, the volume's so high, it can hurt your ears. Okay, let's hear number two. Me duele cuando doblo el codo. Yeah, it's true. Me duele así cuando hago, oh. A, it hurts when I bend my elbow. B, it hurts me when I bend my elbow. And C, it hurts when I double my elbow. All right. 
Claudia, do you I, have the right answer? Uh, I don't know, but <laughs> let's try. <laughs> she says, A, it hurts when I bend my elbow. Okay. I say A too. Oh, she says A as well. <laughs> It hurts when I bend my elbow, and that's the right answer, yes. <laughs> 10 points for each of them. It hurts when I bend my elbow. Claudia, can you read it? Yeah. It hurts when I bend my elbow. Okay. Remember, bend, not fold. Fold is with paper, right? When you take paper and you do this all the way, doblar así, it's to fold. But here, doblar en este sentido, to bend. All right, let's hear number three. ¿Te dolió cuando te operaron? A. Did it hurt? when you had your surgery? B, did you hurt when you had your surgery? And C, did it hurt when they operated you? Five seconds. <laughs> All right. This one might not be quite as logical. You have to think about the way we actually say this in English. Mom, and what do you think? I think it's A. Mm. Well, it says A, and Claudia says A as well, and she's celebrating because Mom has That's the sweet. same answer. And yes, at home, hopefully you have A as well because they're both right. Yes. That's ten points. Good job. Can you read it out loud for us, Mom? Did it, did it hurt when you had your surgery? Did it hurt when you had your surgery? Did it hurt? Yes. Okay. And finally, last but not least, number four. Nunca hace daño estar preparado. It's true. That's true, right, ladies and gentlemen. That's very true advice. Nunca hace daño estar preparado. Nunca. <laughs> A. It never does damage to be prepared. <clears throat> B. It never hurts to be prepared. And C. It never hurts you being prepared. <laughs> Me? <laughs> Claudia, wh Claudia, what's your answer? B? Claudia says B. I didn't see it coming, but Claudia says B. And I say B too. I say B also. So a little party on the set here because they both have B. And they're both right for 10 points. Yeah. B. Good job. I need you to say it though. Mamen, can you say this for us out loud? It never hurts when uh, to be prepared. It never hurts to be prepared. Never hurts to be prepared, ladies and gentlemen. That's true. Hopefully you got 10 points there. Let's move on and take a look at our scores after the second round of the translation challenge. Wow, we look at that. 500. I've never seen 500 on that screen before, Mama. No? It's amazing. 500 points for Mama, and ladies and gentlemen. 240, a good score as well for Claudia. Good job, Claudia. Thank you. Good job, good job. And it's time to move on, ladies and gentlemen, to our expression of the day. Ah, yes, the little drum roll. The drum roll means it's time for the expression of the day. He couldn't hurt a fly. Oh, yeah. He couldn't hurt a fly. Some, sometimes you, you meet people, they look very tough. Like, mm, very tough, you know? They're very tough, but in reality, he couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> you know, do you understand that? Do you say the same thing in Spanish? I don't know. He, he, he's harmless. He can't, he can't okay. hurt a fly. He may look tough, but he couldn't hurt a fly. He wouldn't even do damage to a fly. He, he's harmless. <laughs> he wouldn't, we say, he couldn't hurt a fly. Can you repeat it like that? He couldn't hurt a fly. He couldn't hurt a fly. Again? Come on, he couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Good, all right. Good job. And Mamen? He couldn't hurt a fly. One more time? He couldn't hurt a, hurt a fly. All right, he may look tough, but trust me, he couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> All right, good job, ladies. Well done. And it's time. Well, what time is it, Claudia? What time? What, it's time for the. Uh, uh, I, I don't actually need to know the time, know. really. But uh, speed round. It's time for the speed, speed round. round. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's time. Time for the speed round. <laughs> it is time for the speed round. Not my watch, but it is that time. And here you will see on the screen. The answer. Vas a ver la respuesta y tú en casa tienes que formar la pregunta pidiendo la información. Fíjate, la información que sale en rojo en pantalla. Okay? Asking for the information in red on the screen. We'll have two rounds. The first round will go for two minutes. Okay? 
After I say go, you hit the buzzer, and you have the opportunity to ask the question for 10 points. Pero aquí también restamos puntos. Por tus errores, okay? 10 points up, 10 points down. Okay. <clears throat> Put the time up there, right up there on the clock. Got our clock, okay. Two minutes. Are you ready, ladies? Yes. Let's start the clock. It hurt so much because they didn't give me a painkiller. Go, go. Remember, when, not till I say go, but okay. Mamen. <laughs> Why did it hurt so much? Good. Why did it hurt so much? Correct. Why did it hurt so much? So remember, wait till I say go. Next example. My brother was hurt in the accident. Go. Mamen. Who was hurt in the accident? Repeat, please. Who was hurt in the accident? Who was hurt in the accident? Correct. Good. That's good for 10 points. Who was hurt in the accident? Who was hurt in the accident? Good. <coughs> Next example. He's hurting his own reputation. Go. Mamen. What is he hurting? Uh, I'm afraid not. I'm afraid not. Minus 10 for know. Mamen. That's minus yeah. 10. Pass or play, Claudia. Pass or oh, play. Plus play. Mm -mm. Okay, hit the button. Uh, uh, who, whose reputation is yeah. hard? Uh, is being hard. Whose reputation? Now he's hurting his own rep. Whose reputation uh, is he? Is he hard? Hurt? No. Yeah. No, I'm afraid not. <laughs> Minus ten, unfortunately. <laughs> whose reputation yeah, is he hurting? Yeah. Is he? It's the yeah. same tense. Whose yeah. reputation is he hurting? So minus ten and minus 10. On to the next example. It hurt the most in the morning. Go. I'm in. When it, it, did it hurt the most? I'm sorry, repeat. When did it hurt the most? Correct. That's good for 10 points. When did it hurt the most? When did it hurt the most? Good. Next example. My left knee hurts. Go. I'm in. Which uh, which uh, left, which knee hurt, hurts, which knee, which knee hurts? Which knee hurts, correct answer. Which knee hurts? Which knee hurts? Not the right, the left. Which one? The left one. Which knee hurts? Good. Okay, she got 10 points there right before the bell. Let's take a look at our total scores. After our first portion of the round, 530 for Mamen and 230 for Claudia. Two respectable scores. Okay, but it's not over yet, ladies and gentlemen, because we have another minute. So let's put one more minute up on the clock. Let's get it up there. One minute, ladies and gentlemen. It's getting intense here. It's getting intense. I can feel the tension. You could cut the tension with a knife here in the studio. Yeah. Okay, let's start the clock. Our lack of focus is hurting our productivity. Go. Mamen. What is hurting our productivity? Good. That's good for 10 points. What's hurting our productivity? Good. Next example. He hurt himself climbing over the fence. Go. Mamen. How did it hurt in himself? Sorry? How did it hurt himself? How? No, I'm afraid not. Minus 10. Pass or play? Uh... Uh, yeah, pass. <laughs> pass. Okay. How did he? How did he hurt himself? Oh, yes. How did oh. he hurt himself? Oh, right. Okay. Climbing over the fence. But she said. That. Okay. Next example. No, you can't hurt the system by restarting it. Go, Mamen. Can you hurt the system by restarting it? Good. Can you hurt the system by restarting it? Very good. And ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. 10 points for Mamen at the end. Can you hurt the system by restarting it? Very good. All right, we're all out of time. Let's take a look at our final score here for the week. We have Mamen with a total of 540. Wow, <laughs> great score. And Claudia, 230. Also a good score. Yeah. Well done, well done. And uh, we have some prizes, but first I want to remind you that you can participate with our website. Por eso, volver a concursar con las mismas preguntas del programa de hoy a través de nuestra página web aquí, aprendeingles.com. We have some prizes. Our contestants today will take home a copy of Everyday English Volume 2 featuring Alberto Alonso. Thanks to our friends from 
Vaughn Radio. Get your copy today at baugantienda.com. Also, Mamen will be taking home a copy, not just one copy, for a year, a one-year subscription to our monthly magazine, The Vaughn Review. Right there, The Vaughn Review. They've done a great job. I'm going to go give them these prizes. Great job, Mamen. Thank you very much. Prize is fantastic. Thank you for them. Also, we have to take a look at our ranking here as well. Mom and Ramos, ladies and gentlemen, number one. Look at that, with a whopping total of 540 points. That's impressive. Take your CD there. They've done a great job, both of them. I want to thank you for watching. We have a new champion in Mamen. Great job. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Verb Circus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just stay here, just keep coming. <laughs>